Oi! Hey there, mate! What's up with you just staring into space? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. You're nervous about the certification mission, I take it? Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. I can't say this'll be... fun, exactly. But we should be able to pull through, as long as we work together, mate. Which reminds me, this is our first taste of actual combat in the field. We might want to try practicing the basics first. Hey, hold up, mate! You can't just leave me behind! Whoa, 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 what's up with this fella? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies over here. That is a person, right? What's going on with... You... Uh, you two old friends or something, mate? No, I seriously doubt that. Die! What? Hold up! What are you doing? Get a load of this. On a whim, I decide to actually go on a mission for once, and I run face first into a good time. A two for one special unworthy looking victims. <laughs> hey, Cena, who are these guys? Look them up. Yes, sir. Um, Master Gettelholt? I cannot find any information on that one. What? We got away. And I was just getting warmed up, too. First one creep, now another. What is going on? Hey! You! Yeah? Not you! Shut up and go tremble in a corner! I'm talking to you! That jerk was after you, right? Who was that? Nothing good will come of playing dumb. You really don't know anything. You've got a good air about you, but you're weak. It's too early to bother with you. <laughs> now I'm bored. We're leaving, Cena. Get the lead out. Yes, Master Gedimholt. Take my leave now. Seriously, what in the universe just happened? Suddenly I'm dead tired. By the way, mate, 
You seem kind of curious about whatever's out that way since before the fight broke out. Something up? You heard a voice? If someone's calling for help, then that's a big deal. What do you want to do? Should we go see? I'll leave it up to you, mate. Is the girl okay? What's she even doing here? Doesn't seem like Ox. Mm, but we can hardly just leave her. Attention, Arx. The full spawn containment zone breach has abated. Code F is hereby rescinded. Alert levels back to normal. All personnel, return to ship when it is safe to do so. Phew. Good to hear. The false bond just backed off. I haven't got a clue about this girl. But... I'm sure someone smarter than me will. No point in lingering. Back to base, mate. Hey, mate. You left her with a medical bay, right? She's in good hands there. Anyway, what do you think they're gonna do about our certification mission? I know I brought it up, but I'm not too worried, really. I feel like it's gonna work out fine. I'm gonna relax in the lobby for a bit. Later, mate. Thank you for coming. So, about the girl. She's unusually taciturn. <sighs> Did you tell her your name? I heard it in my head. I'm Matoi. There's no record of that name in our database. At the very least, we know there's no registry info for her in ARCS. Is she from another planet? Her bio patterns were a near perfect fit for ARCS. Curious indeed. Matoy, can you tell us where you're from and what you were doing on that planet? Uh, uh, oh, goodness! Did I spook you? Sorry, that wasn't my intention. She seems attached to you. It's like you're imprinted on her or something. You're certain you've never met? Hmm. If you're not acquainted, that makes this all the more puzzling. We can hardly just leave her, though. You've got Ark's work to do, so I can't expect you to stick around indefinitely. Would you mind leaving her in my care? If anything comes up, you'll be the first to know. Hey, um... I've got this scary feeling. Be extra careful, okay? You there! Arcs off! Hey! 
way. Don't ignore me. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I can tell you're still getting your feet wet here, rookie. Lucky for you, I know my way around. And I'm willing to give you some tips. Uh, this person looks a lot stronger than you, Patty. Oh, shut up. What we operatives need right now isn't boring old skill. It's knowledge and information. Am I right? Now, the first thing you need to know about being an ARCS operative is watch out for the fall spawn. They've got it out for us so bad. And they go around turning wildlife on these planets all vicious and stuff. We've got to do something about them before it's too late. Fortunately, the wildlife here on Nevarius isn't all that strong. But on other planets... Sorry about my sister babbling on like that. Believe me, I know how it feels. Never mind her. She's just a big-headed know-it-all who's only good for spreading rumors. Although she's not wrong when she says that the fall spawn are dangerous. And they've even been showing up around here lately, so it definitely doesn't hurt to be careful. Now come on, Patty, let's go. We have our own job to do gathering information. Hey! Wait up, Tia! I was still talking! Don't worry about it. No one was listening to you anyway. I have a question for you. Would you mind answering it? You're aware that reports of rampaging dragons are on the rise, I trust? Do you know anything about their whereabouts? Or if there are any particularly strong specimens? I see. Pardon my breach of etiquette. Carry on with your exploration and disregard what I just said. Oh, a new colleague, eh? The number of ARCS operatives coming to Nevarius has been on the rise lately. Before all the false bonds showed up, you could go for days without bumping into a single soul. You could also say the proliferation of arc stops is a sign of increasing danger. When things were safe, nobody came here at all. Even if peace means bad business for people like us, who make our living fighting the bad guys, it beats the alternative. Hello. There certainly are more and more ARCs operatives coming to Nevarius these days. At least, that has been the case ever since all these false spawns started to appear. Actually, I am a little worried about the way things are going. As the saying goes, where there is ARCs, there is danger. I am an ARCs operative myself, but I would prefer to avoid working as one as much as possible. Because having no work would mean we are finally at peace. You say there is someone else who feels the same? Hmm. Good to know it is not just me. pretty much asking for a bullet between the eyes. Now then, I haven't had my fill of shooting yet, so I'm going back out. <laughs> Light him up, Risa. too much. I remember regular stuff. I've got common knowledge and language down pet. 
But when it comes to myself, everything's all foggy. And every time I try to remember, my head just... Ow! Sorry. It's gotta be annoying not being able to get anything out of me, aside from my name, huh? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to fish for reassurance. I'll try my hardest to jog my memory. It might be a while yet, but I'll make it happen, one way or another, okay? First, I must express my gratitude to you. You identified the best divergence of potentiality and forged a path to novel circumstances. At present, I have not yet fully studied the words required to gain your consent. Therefore, I must apologize that I continue to fall short of earning your trust. And I apologize for relying on you despite this. A new divergence matrix has been born. This signifies that it is possible to intervene in new potentialities. My regret endures. I pray that you will be the one to absolve me of it. Yeah, you! You're an Arxop, right? You must be the one who accepted my request. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Wright. I'm Professor Aki's assistant. Where's Professor Aki now? Well, that's exactly why I asked you here. See, lately she's been kind of obsessed with the Draconians on Amduskia. Now it looks like she's let her Arxop certification go to her head and gone off to investigate them on her own. I'm worried sick about her. There's any number of things that could go wrong. So, getting back to my request, can I ask you to go find her for me? I I'll make sure you're paid, though I may have to dip into her grant funds to do so. Anyway, whenever you have some time on your hands is fine. Though, personally, the sooner you can find her, the sooner I can sleep easy again. What are you supposed to be? If you're not a Draconian, I have no use for you. What's that? Is my name Aki? Interesting. Do you always go around asking people to identify themselves like this? At any rate, yes, my name is Aki. Now, who are you? I have no recollection of you, and my memory is never wrong. No, wait, don't tell me. You're here because Wright asked you to come find me, aren't you? I can't think of any other reason why you'd come here looking for me. I bet he was bawling his head off about how I haven't come back yet, wasn't he? Oh, I keep telling him that nothing's going to go wrong. But all right, now that you've found me, I guess I can oblige him and head back. Oh, right. If you don't mind, could I ask your name? Hmm, so that's your name. Interesting. You might be a far more fascinating specimen than the Draconians. Don't mind me, just thinking out loud. I'll remember your name. See you around. Hello there! How are you? I'm feeling fine and dandy after wrapping up a job, and I just had to tell someone. I gotta say, guns are the bee's knees. They're easy on my hands, and there's nothing more graceful than death by gunshot. The way they crumple, I'm getting goosebumps. You? It's this feeling of total domination. Ah, just talking about it is getting me in the mood again. On that note, I'm out. Adieu! 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 <laughs> 
Hey, you! It's me, Patty! Hi, I'm Tia. Today, we've got a crazy huge scoop. You won't want to miss this one. It's about our enemies, the Fall Spawn. Fall Spawn are labeled a bunch of things, like dangerous, terrifying, fearsome, and all that jazz. But what's that even mean? And so, for the first time, no, wait, maybe the second? Nah, whatever. Introducing the horror of Fall Spawn. Okay, take it away, Professor Tia. What? I have to tell them? Ugh. Um, we're talking about Fall Spawn, right? The most horrible thing about Fall Spawn isn't their raw strength, but their ability to corrupt. To put it simply, it's like a disease. If someone's corrupted by the Fall Spawn factor, they'll slowly lose their mind, and finally, they become a Fall Spawn themselves, and that's no joke! Once someone's corrupted by Fall Spawn, they become more violent, especially toward ARCS members. And once the corruption's taken hold, there's practically no way to reverse it. Any attempts will only make it spread further. So if there are any signs of corruption, it's best to take them out as quickly as possible. That's a lot harsher than I expected. Oh, uh, but don't worry. We ARCS members are protected by our photons, so we won't be corrupted. As of now, there's no record of any ARCS members being corrupted. Probably, I think. You could compare our battle with the Fall Spawn to a fight with an uncurable, ever-spreading illness. To continue with that metaphor, I guess that would make ARCS like an alliance of doctors. Uh, I feel all weird now after hearing that stuff. Have I been corrupted? Impossible. Idiots can't be corrupted. Everyone knows that. What a relief. Wait. Uh, hold on. You didn't just call me an idiot, did you? Uh, who? You. How did you notice me? So you saw me clear as day? Am I getting sloppy at erasing my presence? No, that can't be. Who are you? Hey, I got a good look at your fight. I could hardly bear to watch. You're just as much of a greenhorn as I expected, since you hang out with Zeno. And that's not all. You're seriously lacking in guts. The guts to smash your opponent's faces in, that is. You're soft. That's why nothing's frightened of you, and your fights drag on. Without the guts to kill anything that gets in your way, you're dead weight on the battlefield. Fools like you always make hopeless mistakes when it comes down to the wire. If only you had more guts, you'd be a much more worthy opponent. I'm certain he was trying to give you advice. Master Gedimholt hardly ever concerns himself with others. I'm... a little jealous. Cena! What are you blabbering about? Get your ass over here! I shouldn't have said that. Please forget it. Excuse me. It's good to see you. We've been waiting. You know what we're after, right? Oh, wait. Please excuse me. You're the one ARC's operative I trust, so that question itself is rude. Now, let us be on our way. My intellectual curiosity must be sated at once. 
Uh, sorry. We haven't even explained anything. But, um, we're investigating the Draconians as usual, so the Professor seems to have something else on her mind. Honestly, I'm scared of another frenzy happening. If it comes down to it, we'll just have to drag her out of here. Well then, I hope today... No, I hope I can count on you again. I feel like the fall spawn have been multiplying. That's not a good sign. Ma'am, the Draconians are capable of repelling fall spawn on their own, aren't they? Yeah. That's why they've officially denied Ark's intervention. I'd advise them of how dangerous that stance is if I could. Ark's mastery of photons makes it the only group capable of completely eradicating the fall spawn. The Draconians can repel them with brute force, but that won't eradicate them. Fallspawn residue will always remain. I'm sure there's an underlying cause behind the Draconians' sudden change, but I can hardly delve into that without their cooperation. That's why our only option is taking to the field for some good old-fashioned legwork. This was a draconian cadaver at one point. This is horrific. It's barely even recognizable. I don't feel so good. I can't believe you can touch that stuff, ma'am. You should know these things as my assistant. I enjoy doing research on living creatures. I have no interest in what's dead and gone. This is just an object, a thing. No reason not to touch it. Now. Let's see its viscera. Hype down, right? Either you're interested or you're not. Pick one. It's as I suspected. Oh, sorry. Let me outline my thoughts better. Basically, I studied its internal tissue. There's definitely false spawn corruption. I think it accumulated in its body over time. Destroying false spawn with non-photon methods leaves byproducts that... Oh, have I told you this before? Well, whatever. Long story short, specks of dirt can become mountains when you put enough of them together. For better or for worse, I've retrieved some tissue samples. This should help me move forward with my research. But I don't think we'll get to the bottom of this, so long as we can't talk with the Draconians. battling each other? Are they having a row? I can't deny that possibility. But based on what they're saying, that doesn't seem to be the case. Now then. Huh? Wait, Professor? You're not gonna get involved, are you? It's useless to reason with him, Draconian. He's been corrupted by Fallspawn, and isn't in his right mind. Alex, I have the time for you. See? Let's do as he says and get out of here. It's dangerous. That's enough out of you, right? Be quiet. Now, Draconian, you may say that, but what exactly do you intend to do about the problem before you? Lord Roga of the High Clan, our guide. However, he corrupts our fellows. 
Apprentice. Violation of our laws. Those who break laws return to Kashina. Kashina. The Hell Dragon spoken of in Draconian myth, correct? I see. So I understand you'll kill him. I'm saying, let us handle it. Forsaking a living being is a waste. I won't allow it. Listen up. If we suppress that Draconian with the power of photons, we might make it in time. We might be able to save him. I can't guarantee it, but there's value in trying, at least. Our gamble paid off, and just in the nick of time, we must credit the resilience of the Draconian Constitution. Clever arts. What did you do? It's simple, Draconian. Photons reduced the false bond tissue within. Of course, the real credit goes to this one, not me. We can't do much about his wounds, but Draconians recover quickly enough. It should heal in time. Is this an arts power? Hold Draconian. It's too early to be relaxing just yet. This is only the beginning. Before long, more Draconians will deteriorate the same way. What do you seek from us? Conversation. Draconians and Arcs need to start up a dialogue. My name is Ben of High. I ask your names, Arcs. My name is Aki, and this is my assistant, Wright. Child of Arcs, I apologize for rudeness. And I express gratitude. The power to save Lord Roka. I will not forget this debt. <laughs> <laughs> 